Okay, so a network is basically a series of interconnected things which have the capabilities of TCP IP. So could be a computer, could be a toaster. You can if it can listen on TCP IP, you can put it in anything. So but we're just gonna deal with computers as that's the most common thing that you're gonna be aware of, so I'll just use them. So in your home you may have a router. And then this is connected to your ISP or the internet. And you may have your PC. You may have sister's PC. Mm. Make it. And you may have a laptop. Which is connected wirelessly. And these two computers might be connected by an Ethernet cable. Most, ah, most commonly RJ45 cable. And so these computers can communicate by transferring. Ethernet frames to the router, the router, however you want to say it, and go to the destination machine. Okay, but in a client server relationship, um, you say this can be a server, because any, any computer can be a server. Uh, this is the client for our, our purposes. So the client may want information from the server. It will send a request to its IP address, the local IP address that is, and the server may then respond with information to that um, to the IP address of the client. So every computer has an IP address and a MAC address and if the most common commonly used thing now is that the router has a IP address which kind of everyone outside this local area network can see and then through a network address translation it uh, packets coming from the internet will then be distributed to the correct computer on the local area network. So this client may have a local IP address 192.168.5 and then server may have a local one 192.168 192.168 is the most common commonly used uh, ones for instance and for the router to the so to the inside network we'll have one like this which will be similar 0 0.1 is the common one but to the outside world it will have some random one depending on your location in the world and um, IP addresses or the IPv4 addresses um, have, are 32 bits long and so each of these numbers can range from 0 to 255 and the whole one of the whole reasons that routers now have um, addresses that hide the local addresses of these other computers apart from security reasons is that 
they ran out of space. In 32 bits, you can only have approximately 4 billion addresses. And you'd think that that would be enough. But there's like 7 billion people on the Earth. Each of those people may have two computers, they may have two cell phones, they may have four toasters which run on TCP IP and without the network address translation you wouldn't have enough um, IP addresses for everyone so they had to kind of do tricks like this and they also have introduced IPv6 which has an extra 16 bits so that you can fit a lot more addresses in there um, I don't think that's as common yet at the moment though but they are pushing for that and what else um, um, yeah I think that's it for now and I will now show you what happens when you want to fetch a web page from a web server. <laughs>